These guys are incredible at standing in exactly the same position. What the fuck did you just fucking say about me, you little bitch? All of you know I graduated top of my class in the Navy Seals. Either that is extremely bright white paint, or somebody used the world's most powerful laser to cut that into the rock. Bruno and Marco have always been good friends, so when the war broke out, they decided to stick together and buy a, like a 13 room mansion. Or steal it. They met Pavle. Pavle? <laughs> Pavle. While scavenging for supplies. He used to be Por Pogarin's star football player, and now he's just another homeless victim of war. So they teamed up, hoping for the best. How are things? Literally nothing. Nice. They only have one chair, three asses, that's not good. We lack beds, and we have to sleep on the floor. You have no beds, where else would you sleep? Unless you thought about sleeping on the chair. Raw food. Herbs. Parts, clean water, relatively clean water. I don't know, that's kind of a big distinction. Relatively clean water. That reminds me of a story I have from the Philippines. I was walking through the fish markets, which smell like God knows what. And as I'm walking through the fish markets, um, I see these puddles that I either emanate the smell or have been contaminated by the smell and they're dark brown filled with like the guts of fish and who knows what and a little old lady bends down takes a look into this vile vile water and she washes her hands in it so, so I'm thinking what could possibly be on her hands that cleaning it in dirty fish market water will make it better. Anyways, we've got some electric parts and they'll come in handy if we want to introduce advanced improvements to our shelter. Yeah, so we can have raves and disco parties and invite Larry from next door. Oh, that would be so sweet. Always gotta check the closet. Don't know who's gonna pop out. More raw food. Who's who's walking around and putting drumsticks into all the furniture and trash? It should be in the fridge. Bruno, my man. I know that your pinky toe has an ingrown toenail. But you're gonna have to help out too. And Marco, I'm sorry that you have a mild case of mud butt. But you're gonna have to help out. A diamond. Proper tools we could build the stuff we need. If only I knew what we needed. So, oh my god, we even have a treehouse? You're living like kings, you scrubs. And a balcony? Jeez. Who cares about war when you have a tire swing? Uh. No! Oh. <laughs> Why? Well, it's the first night. You know, you know, if you can get by in Minecraft with a two by one hole and a block of dirt over your head, you can get through this game, right? Right? Unless I wake up tomorrow and this guy has like cancer and oh no this guy is bleeding out this guy has cancer and this guy broke an Olympic medal um, take some water some food oh, I must not have room does this not stack 
Why did I give you food and water? Why did I give you basic human essentials? You needed to carry more shell casings and wood. We're never gonna make it. Book. Nobody needs books. We need wood and we need shell casings. We'll take some books. We can make books out of wood. Just saying. All right. Sugar. I am constantly having to choose between wood and everything else on this planet. More wood. sounds like the way to go okay well we're not gonna get inside of there maybe there was a gun or a space heater or the limited edition of the first spider-man comic we'll never know until tomorrow when I come back but as for now you live you learn day two now I wonder if there's a hard limit to it or if it's as long as you can survive because if it's as long as you survive, this game's never gonna end because I'm a straight G. <laughs> I think they're going to starve to death because they don't know how to tell them to eat crude stove. Okay, that seems very important. Oops. Crude stove make um the kitchen seems like a very nice the kitchen seems the kitchen next to this sink or whatever it is seems like a very nice the kitchen under the cabinet next to this thing seems like a nice I hate you I should sleep off the last night you did sleep. I bet you would eat something. If I knew how to tell you. Let's see, friend. How can... Oh! Eat. Eat from our bonanza of rotten chicken drumsticks. It's not very filling, but it's food. Don't you ever complain about food in this house again, Bruna. I swear, I will put you in the stinkiest room. Marco, let's see, you're hungry, get some food, don't even think about it, don't, you better not complain though, and you, you get some chicken drumsticks too, you have no cigarettes, I read the inventory earlier, now let's, wow, you are a G, no fucks given, fuck the stairs, fuck them. Not very filling, but it's food. I will put all of you in the stinkiest room together, and you'll make it more stinky. We could be better prepared to deal with hardships if we knew about them well in advance. Yeah, I mean, like... Why not? Why not? This would probably be best in a communal area where everybody was forced to listen to uh, the hottest hits by Ariana Grande and the latest uh, mumble rap. You know, they were complaining about chairs earlier. We don't need chairs. We need wood. God, we don't have enough components. We don't have enough wood and components. All right. We'll get by. We'll find more wood. We'll make it work. I know we can. I know we can do it. We just need more wood. Just need a little bit more wood. Wait, this tree is made out of wood. I know this tree house was important. I knew it. I know we could do it. Just needed some wood. 
you think you have shivers. Well, think again. Bruno, you are still hungry. You're slightly sick. You're slightly wounded. You slept poorly. Is there anything that's not wrong with you? Are you at least having a good day? Do you have a positive outlook on life? You just jump through the hole and you wonder why you're hurt. And I was calm apart from the echo of distant shots. But let's hope it won't get worse. It will. Don't worry. But by that time, we're going to have a lot of wood. A lot of wood. All we want is wood. You better have brought wood. Can I kill this man and take his wood? This is what Too bad we can only carry seven stacks of two planks of wood. Now we could use food. Oh. You'd have to show me a lot in exchange. How much how much do I gotta take off? What do you wanna see? You wanna see a lot? I can show you everything. The joint. Beautiful. An uh, unrolled joint. Slightly less beautiful. On the lockpick, that's just too much for you. You're very generous of you. I give, I take one lockpick, and you're like, I cannot accept these two chains with diamonds encrusted in them. Deal. Thanks. I have more, but take a look. Get out of here. Fool. We got all this wood for useless jewelry. <laughs> what a fool. What a fool. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could only make sense that they would have uh, meaningful traits, but it would be really funny if they had a survivor with them that was a anime expert instead of a good cook or a skilled fighter or a sharpshooter. I don't have a garden yet, and it seems like we need basic supplies more than anything. So we'll leave that fertilizer, which is probably just somebody having taken a dump in that closet. Well, I'm just gonna have you take care of things for now. You're hungry, so is everybody else. You slept poorly, but so did everybody else. You're slightly wounded, but so is everybody else. Bruno, I don't know what's wrong with you. Just, you just. Sometimes there's a team effort. Sometimes you just weighing us down. You were a good cook, but you were a terrible, terrible survivor. What the heck? Children. My worst enemy. Your mom is sick? Sorry. Is there an IOU option? Maybe later? You guys need medicine. Two kids, your mom, maybe your mom's hot. We'll see, we'll see, maybe she'll stop by. Give us some wood, yeah. Bruno might end up dying though if I give you guys this medication. 